Hi guys, for today's video, I thought it would be fun to do something a little bit different. And today I'm gonna to share with you how I remove and apply new press-on nails. If you're new to my channel, then you have not heard me rave about press-on nails. But if you've been around for a while, you're probably sick of me talking about them so much because I feel like I mention press-on nails in like every video. I really don't think I have a favorite. Today I'm gonna to use the Olive and June ones. I actually just placed an order on their actual website and got a few different ones but i love the kiss ones i've used red aspen ones i really don't have a favorite i have been doing this for probably maybe even three years now a lot of people say it's about the glue i personally think it's all about the application. You really have to take your time to get them to last. My nails usually always last about two weeks, sometimes three weeks and I get really surprised. This past time I did my nails, I don't know if something is wrong. This has never happened. These have been on for over a month and not one has fallen off. I can even show you guys a screenshot from my phone where I know I I have these nails on. I'll have to find it. I'll insert it. I know I have these nails on and I know it was over a month ago, which is just crazy to me. That's probably not even that good. I probably, they need to be removed. I was working out today and this one kind of, this one hit something and now it actually kind of hurts. So I really need to get these off and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that because I get questions all of the time because I'm always just talking about these and people are wondering, how do you get them to last? I've tried it, it didn't work for me. I'm gonna show you guys step by step everything I do. First, you need some nails. These are a few different ones that I've purchased recently but I have a whole stash of all different ones upstairs in my bathroom. These are the ones I'm doing today. I really love the Olive and June ones because they have these longer oval shaped ones and I'm kind of liking that lately. I was doing short, square, natural for a long time but I'm kind of liking this shape and they just have really fun different little prints and stuff like that. Like this one has green tips and I just think it's kind of fun for the summer. And then I loved this purple that I had on too for the summer. And I got a lot of questions, people asking me like, what nail polish color is that? It's just my press-ons. But I'm gonna give you guys a little close up. These are what my nails look like right now. Pretty grown out, like I said, they've been on over a month. Not one has fallen off. And I work out pretty much every single day. There have been times where I'm shocked. I'm like, oh, one's probably gonna fall off right now. And it doesn't. I don't even know how. So I'm working out, I'm washing dishes every day, I'm doing yard work. I have no idea how not one has fallen off. They're coming off today, I'm forcing them off. So I have out a few of the items that I always use every time I'm applying, removing nails. I always get like a little buffer with some grit on it to go over the top of the nail. I have a nail file, a really good one, cuticle pusher, cuticle nippers just in case, nail clippers, and then this is 100% acetone nail polish remover, some cotton swabs, and then I have this artificial nail, nail remover right now. This is Dashing Diva. I've used the Kiss one, which I really like. All of them I really like. I've never had a problem, but this is the one I'm using today. I'll show you guys how I remove the nails first. So I just thought I was recording when I took <laughs> that one off, but I wasn't. Okay, so what I just said though, is I apply a little bit of this right at the cuticle line. And then I take my cuticle pusher. A lot of times a wooden little cuticle pusher comes in these. And I'll show you guys everything that comes in here. But I already have this one. And then it does lift off pretty easily, normally. That first one, I wish I was recording it, came off so easily. But you really do want to be gentle. So if it's not coming off, I'll just move on to the next one. But, I mean, after a month, you would think these would just be sliding right off. I would say the process of taking off these nails is a little bit different than it normally is. I got all these off. As you can see, there's a little, like, glue residue still on it. Um, I just got this one off. It's actually a little bit bruised under it because... I hit it when I was working out pretty hard. It actually kind of hurt. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get the rest of these off. This really never happens <laughs> where it's this hard to get the nails off. I will admit, though, it's much harder to get them off today 
they're just being a little bit more stubborn but normally they just pop right off one in one piece and today they're just not really doing that so I'm gonna just keep working on it I know this part's kind of boring so I'm not really filming a ton of it but like I said just gently kind of getting under there and loosening it up and then it eventually pops right off yeah see they normally just do that the next thing that I do once I get all the nails off which you can see I heard he started doing on this hand is trimming the nails down they've clearly grown out a lot and so they need to be trimmed and honestly I do feel like the nails stick better when you have shorter nails instead of longer nails for some reason for me I just feel that way might not be true but that's just how I feel so I always trim them down after I have all my nails trimmed what I like to do is file them so they're nice and like even all the way around the top and then I take this buffer which has a little bit of grit to it and I go over the top of the nail it actually ends up getting off like any extra like glue residue that didn't come off and it also helps kind of rough up the nail a little bit which you need it to be very very dried out before you apply your new nails so that's the key you don't want any oil on your hands at all you don't really want to have have lotion or cuticle oil you want the nail bed especially to be as dry as possible before putting the nails on and I really think this process right here is the most important because I feel like this is going to be key to keeping your nails on a really long time see so now that I filed the tops taking this buffer <laughs> I'm going over the top of the nail bed and you want to get the whole thing not just the middle you want to do the sides make sure every part of the nail gets buffed and that's really gonna help so I would say this part is like the most time-consuming but the best payoff I'll also link everything that I'm using in this video some of my favorite nails nail files the buffers the acetone so if you guys do want to try doing this at home then you can have everything that you need i also keep everything in this really cute little bag that i got off of amazon also my cuticles don't really grow over my nail bed very much i know some people have it pretty bad but this would also be the time that you want to push back and nip off any cuticles because if the nail and the nail glue is sitting on top of your cuticle and not your nail that's going to prevent it from staying on as long too the most time consuming part is over we have filed we have pushed back those cuticles we've buffed and your nails should look something like this really dry little focus they almost look just like white now because they're so dry The next step I do is I take my pure acetone, which I'm almost out of, put it on a little cotton ball, and then I go over the nails again. This dries out the nails even more, and then it also gets all of the dust off of your nails too, so you can kind of see what's, what's going on, but 100% acetone especially is gonna dry out your nail bed even more which is great for the adhesive to really latch on and yeah then we've got rid of all that dust the next part is the fun part we're gonna dive into these nails right here if you get this brand of nails this is everything that will come in this box a wooden little cuticle pusher get some directions maybe a buffer so actually if you don't have your own buffer and nail file it does come with this one I just feel like I don't know mine's better but if you don't have it, it comes right in the thing this is the nail glue and this is the nail glue that I use that's how my nails stayed on for a month was with this glue 
and then you get an extra baggie of nails with a bunch of different sizes in it this is a prep pad which is very similar to just like the nail polish remover so if you don't have this you can also use this right here and then all of our other nails whoopsie so now you just go through you figure out what sizes you're gonna need on each nail Ooh, and i feel like these are really fun for summer this one says three so let's see how that one would work this one would probably yeah this one works too so three or four i have all my nail sizes it's all dried out just gonna go over it again with the acetone <laughs> and then we're just gonna apply i know some people they put the glue on the nail like on their actual nail some people put it on this nail i always just put it on the fake nail but you can really do either one and they say sometimes that less is more you don't need a ton of glue but what i do just slide it on till i feel like it looks proper then i just hold it down on my thumb for like five ten seconds you'll kind of be able to feel it grabbing onto your nail I feel like you'll be able to tell if it's gonna pop off or not Ooh, cute i like these and literally these are like ten dollars for the pack so if you think about it if they really do last you two maybe even three weeks opposed to going and getting your nails done a lot of times i mean it's at least 50 bucks right <laughs> to get your nails done putting a drop of glue on this nail and then i kind of like spread it out a little bit too so it's like evenly spread on there and then line it up and hold just a drop kind of make sure it's on there good there's so many different glues out nowadays too. There's a glue by Kiss that's kind of like a paintbrush. If you're worried about the glue or if you're gonna get it on just right or whatever, that one that's a brush is really easy to do too. And the first hand is done. I'm kind of obsessed with these nails with a tan. I think it's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly do the other hand real quick. And if you're like me and you get like little fuzzies from like the cotton swab or anything, you can just take this little prep pad that came with it and just Kind of go over everything real quick. Sometimes you can tell at the top of these fake nails that, I don't know, there's always like a little something at the top of them. So I might just file them just a tiny bit to remove whatever that is. And then to that i'm pretty much good to go now the rings can go back on we can make our hands look real cute now <laughs> here is the finished product what do you guys think a couple little fuzzies on here that'll go away now you can add a little nail oil or whatever if you want to i think these look so good they they don't look like press-ons to me at all I feel like people are always really surprised when they ask me. So these are my nails. This is the finished product. 
love. Hope you guys enjoyed this process of seeing how I remove, put on a fresh new pair of press-on nails. This has honestly saved me so much money than going to the nail salon and getting them professionally done. And I love them. I get so many compliments on them. Give it a shot. If you've been nervous to do it, don't be nervous. It's super easy and you get used to it. Follow these steps and you should be good to go. And I'm not the type of person that's really careful with my nails over the next few weeks. I just do everything I would normally do. And if one pops off, one pops off. You have your glue that comes with it. You just save this. And if one pops off, you can just refile it or buff it and then put another one on. Everything will be linked down below, everything that I use. If you guys enjoyed this little how-to tutorial, I thought this was kind of fun and different from what I normally do. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys have got started on the press on. I know within the past couple of years, I feel like they've just got more popular. So let me know if you guys have tried them, what you think, would you ever do it? Subscribe if you're new or haven't subscribed yet. And I will see you guys really soon in my next video.